Hi folks, my name is Justin. Unfortunately, Vash can't make it here today. He's making all those preparations for his celebration this week for Burcom. So today we have... Hi, I'm Jeanette Bonner. Beautiful. Let's get this started. So today we're going to talk about Terminator Genesis, the fifth installment of the Terminator series that started in 1984, starring, of course, Arnold Schwarzenegger. The movie also stars Jason Clark, Amelia Clark, who I now at this point don't know if they're related or not. Let's just assume no. And then Jai Courtney. Not for nothing. If I was going to a movie by myself on Tuesday night, I probably would not have chosen Terminator Genesis. I just want to share with you really quick is when I bought my ticket and I went to a very small indie movie house where I was like, can I have one for Terminator, please? And he was like, yeah, I had like a cardigan on and like a little dress and I think they were all very confused. I felt like everyone was like, check in with the single girl. <laughs> Is she okay? Did you like the movie? I did like the movie. You did? I did. Okay. Did you like the movie? I really liked the movie. Oh my God! Look, I love the original Terminators. I, one and two is what I'm speaking of. I think they're fantastic. And they're Arnold Schwarzenegger absolutely at his best. Three and four, although I enjoy them because of course you know I like everything, I understand they're not as good as one and two. This one to me got closer to the original yes. than anything we've seen in a yes. while. And I'm going to be completely honest and say I've never seen the third and fourth movie, because why? This franchise is so ingrained in how we speak in modern culture. Whenever we talk about robots taking over, I don't know about you, but I always refer to it as Skynet. Arnold Schwarzenegger, I think, looks more to form of Arnold Schwarzenegger than I've seen him in the past few movies, like The Expendables and like that... Uh, or oh, was it not The Last Stand where he was like a sheriff in Texas? Do you know what I'm talking about? No, I did not watch He is now 67, I think. Really? Yeah, I think he's like in okay. his late 60s. Impressive. Yeah. Both old and young. It was so cool Good to see. Good job, CG, whoever yeah. did that together. Seriously, bravo. He because he ain't that young anymore. Having old Arnold fight younger Arnold and seeing and remembering young Arnold's lovely pectoral muscles, A+. plus. Yeah. I was going to say and his butt, but they kind of. I would love to see Arnold's butt in this movie. Uh, you know. Oh, wait. Let's, let's Young be Arnold. Let's say young, young Arnold, Arnold, not old but, Arnold's butt, because that yeah. might be the wrong way to describe it. Although maybe it looks good. No I don't know. One, no one wants to see a 67-year-old butt, Justin. If it's Arnold Schwarzenegger, I'd think about it. <laughs> That's probably true. I changed my mind. Because Arnold Schwarzenegger's an older guy, so Jai Courtney filled in the job of shirtless man. A hot guy. Uh, on a regular basis. With great abs, by the way. Yes, no, he, yeah. I mean, truth be, if I had that upper body, I wouldn't wear a shirt ever. Okay, now, truth be told, I kind of have a little bit of a crush on Daenerys, uh, Amelia Clark. Daenerys? She's Daenerys oh. in Game of... Oh, oh we just my found God! that out. We just found that out. I know, I mean, I, I yeah, just... No, we I just put that together. Oh, my God. Not blonde in this movie. I really like her as Sarah Connor. I loved her in this film. I think she naturally looks a lot more like Sarah Connor she does. than she does Daenerys. She does. And I was actually very, very proud that they cast someone who did kind of look like the old, the former the original Sarah, Sarah Connor. Sarah, yeah. I'm sure there's a lot of like the time paradox thing that's totally wrong somewhere, but having just seen it, I didn't care and really enjoyed how they played with the time. I thought so, they did a really good job. I did too. I Again, thought, tomorrow there will be a giant website <laughs> devoted to this and why I'm an idiot. I thought they did a very good job addressing the loopholes. So should we review the movie? Yeah. Okay, beautiful. I'm going to give, oh, I'm between a four and a five, legit. Like, I love this movie. I'm going to give it a four. I'm going to calm down because there were some fives this year that I loved a little bit more than this, but totally enjoy in the theaters and have fun. I think I would also give it a 4.5. Okay. I kind of went in thinking I was going to hate it and went out thinking, I want to talk about this with someone. Thank you, everybody, for watching the show. Feel free to subscribe to the page, do the, you know, last uh, DVD and whatever. Thank you, Jeanette, for coming on. I appreciate Absolutely. it. She also has a web series, actually, of her own called Ghost. Ghost something? Ghost line? Ghost, Ghost Light? Patrick's, Patrick Swayze's in it, right? Not Ghost? No, not that He's one. He's very expensive. Ghost Light. So click on her face, and you can go to that series and watch the whole thing. Season one is currently out now, and season two is in production, correct? It is in production. We there are you currently go. fundraising for it. Yay! Beautiful. Thank you, everybody, for watching the show, and we will see you next week.